Well, good Sunday morning. I don't know where you are, but most of Eugene and Springfield <laughs> is at Alton Baker Park this morning because this is a super important event. This is a walk to fight suicide, out of the darkness, community walk. And this is the one for Eugene and Springfield. <laughs> and, and nobody was expecting this. There's a line. And you guys, I'm telling you, there is not a place to park. Well, hello. There's not a place to park at Alton Baker Park, but don't let that stop you. Um, this is Amy. She's the boss, right? Yes, Sarah. Sarah, I'm sorry. I've got That's there. That's all right. So, introduce yourself and when, who you're with. Yes, I'm Sarah Schofield. I'm a field ambassador for American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, and I helped to co-chair this walk this year. How many years have we been doing this? You know, I've been doing it for five years here at Alton Baker Park, and I know that they had done it for a few years before. I don't know exactly, but definitely in the last five years, we've grown this event quite a bit, and I don't know... Uh, it was, it, we had lost kind of our chapter for a while, so we're really building Oregon's chapter from the beginning of, you know, getting people. We had no committee this year, so we started over and just did what we could do. Well, yeah, you, ha you have more people here than last year, don't you? Yes, we do. Huh? We have over 600 people registered oh currently. God. And they're we still have, in line. Yeah, we have nearly 70 teams walking today, and um, we do have um, one team that hasn't um, had everybody show up to register that we're expecting at least another 100 people from them so this is unfortunately this is a growing problem it is. and and that's probably why people we've had a lot of suicides in our communities well yes. Lane County has 50 times the national average for suicides yeah. and I, to see this kind of people out is super touching absolutely and you know this is what it's all about for us I mean advocacy for me is about my community and it's about us coming together because the reality is that one voice cannot make the same impact as a thousand voices and we want more and more voices to say this is a problem and it's preventable and it's possible to heal and there's help out there and there's hope and if you're feeling hopeless we're here for you and I always say we don't know you yet but we already love you and and the most everybody here is probably impacted in one way or another by suicide absolutely we have folks that are survivors we have folks that um, are struggling with their own mental health issues we also have people that are from the community um, that are in um, the field of mental health so we've got peace health behavioral team is here and we've got a few other groups and then of course we have a ton of nonprofits here um, doing resources and giving people the information they need about what's in our community to get help so you guys officially starts at 11 there's an opening ceremony so you need to get your butt down here. Our Sarah needs to get to work because I'm taking her time. Yes, I so do. you go to work and go do your thing. We're going to go right. talk to a special Thanks young so much, man. Rick. All right, see you later. You guys, we're going to meet a special young man here. Okay, there's a table right next to it. Go to that for sure. You're live, just so you know. <laughs> so, you guys, this is Carson. You remember Mr. Leiden. Um, did you get it all shared? I think so. You're a good Dude, man. It's confusing. I know it is a little confusing. As he's my co-producer today. Um, our show is sponsored by Katie Hallert, and she'll be joining us in a few minutes from the Stellar Home Team with Equinox Real Estate or Equinox Real Estate. Um, you have how many people showing up on your team? Um, right now, I'd say 150 to 200, but I'm expecting another 50 or so to come. So she told me that this year's the, the biggest one they've ever had, and there's over 700 people registered to be here. Yep. So why are you doing? You t tell them how much you raised. Uh, right now I have <laughs> twelve thousand raised or twelve thousand six hundred raised online, but I have more checks coming in. So right now it's sixteen thousand, like my number. This guy's fifteen and he raised sixteen thousand dollars to help fight suicide prevention. Mm -hmm. So why? For you? Uh, it's just a big topic for me because I've lost multiple people and I've struggled like myself for suicide prevention and mental health. So it's really just um, trying to get the word out and helping people. So you guys look over here. This is his team. Like all these people in the black and white shirts, which I want my shirt by the way. Um, I don't have it on yet. But all these people are part of his team. And then again, this is this is the group right here. Over 600 people are here today uh, to do this. Don't go too far. So the reason we're here is because of my friend Katie Hallard. Oh, that's not the reason why we're here. Well, that's the reason we get to be here for Rick Dancer gets to be here. Sure. Because we'll you sponsor the show. I do, yes, of course. But uh, what a great event to be at just to show the support and talk about 
suicide and just talk about this is an icky subject. Nobody wants to talk about it. Right. I was saying I was talking to Sarah, who's directing this thing, and mm-hmm. and uh, just about a about two weeks ago, I saw statistics in the paper that were showing that Lane County is 50 percent higher than the national average for suicides in our community. I heard that too, and that just blows me away. Like. Why and then how do we how do we stop it? How do we prevent it? Right, and there's a bunch of mental health professionals here today as well in the walk. Um, a lot of different people, and a, and most of the people here have been affected in some way or another by someone. I mean, we all know people who who have done this. Yeah, uh, mental health, man. Our our system is broken, and we it, it needs to be fixed. Awareness is the is the first step. See, and I think what's interesting, Katie, to me too, is that a long time, like when I was in the news business, we did not cover suicide. You didn't talk about it. You pretended like it didn't happen. It was something we didn't want to talk about because we thought that made it happen more. And I think what we're learning is we need to kind of start talking about this because it's not it's not getting better. No, no. If anything, it's getting worse. It, you know, when I was growing up, it was kind of like shameful to talk about. Right? right. And just now, it just needs to be. We need to talk about it a lot more. We need, it just needs to not get to that point where right. you know, it becomes an issue. So when you see Carson... Um, I mean, you have kids in that, in that age, age group, yeah. and isn't that just amazing? It blows me away. What an amazing young man. I just like, wow, stunned. And you signed up. Katie's on the team yep. now. I signed up. <laughs> I guess I'm going for a walk today. You're gonna, oh. Yeah, she was planning to come and talk with me, but now you're going to go for a little walk. Well, I it's a Sunday a morning, and you guys, you can too, because it starts at 11 o'clock this morning. Still time to get down here. There's an opening ceremony, and then they're going to take off. It's not a long walk, so you're not going to be wearing yourself out or anything unless you want to. I mean, you know. Yeah, so, I like easy walks. That's come good. this way, because yeah. that, that speaker is so loud. You know, I was um, talking to Mark. Carson's, huh? I was talking to Mark Carson's dad. So if we want to get yeah. him to come chat and, and talk with us. But so, there's a um, lot of people here. Oh, my gosh. I, I, I'm just you know, I drove amazed. in and I got tears in my eyes because I'm looking going. And that's the first time I've ever had tears in my eyes for a good reason when I can't find parking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was going, right. oh, my God, this is so great that I can't even find a place to park at Alton Baker Park. But there is parking down the way and you'll just have to walk oh, a little ways. Oh, there's plenty of parking. That's a whole field over there. But the, but oh the parking spaces are, are gone. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Lydon, come here. Come here, please, please. Huh? Oh, we already oh, talked sure. to him. Okay, we, this, to is, this is adult right. time now. Okay. <laughs> so you and Katie and already... so you chose me? Yeah. <laughs> well, well, Katie chose you, you know? Oh, okay, thanks. So she's already been talking to you. What right. were you talking about? We're just talking about, you know, being a parent, yeah. uh, how proud you are. You know, Very proud. All that... Tell me. You tell well, them. no, you I mean, it's me. just, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I get broke up because I coached Will um, in baseball for many years. He and this was, is one of your son's friends who... Will Will Mass from Greening, um, who this all kind of started. Carson got started with it. Um, my oldest son Marcus and Will went to the same preschool at three years old, maybe two. So we've known him since like birth, so to speak. So it's it hit us the family very hard. Um, but I'm just super proud of, of Carson. I mean, Jesus, are you kidding me? When I was 15. <laughs> I didn't even know where Alton and Baker Park was first off, right. but even why, you know. So you see your kid raising sixteen thousand dollars for suicide yeah. prevention, and then he gathers a team of two hundred and some people here. Uh, at least. I mean, at least, yeah. If you're wearing black, you're part of the team. So. So as his dad, you're yeah. pretty. This is kind of what you want for your kids, huh? Yeah. 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 It's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'd be pretty damn proud. I already told him on, on live the other day. I said, you know, I got two sons, but I'll take you as my third if you yeah, want. Yeah. And no, your wife sent me a very kind letter, so I want to meet her before we go because yeah, she was, she's over there working hard. She was so really she's doing doing what she does is organized and so she's really good at it, so that's good. But uh yeah, no, I couldn't be more prouder than a you know, a kid, whether he was twenty one or fifteen of what he's accomplished so far. I mean you know, a small community of, of Eugene, you know, I'd still consider it small, but if you look at, like, what's being done, like, raised at the Portland Walk, and he's, like, doubled, right? you know, a, a metro area, so it, it's it's pretty awesome. Just think what it's that kid can awesome. do. Yeah, well, I don't think you have to worry about retirement now. Nah. You, get, you get that kid. No, I, no, I, I can look forward to it. Now, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Carson's going to take care of all yeah, of us. No, he's, he's an incredible kid. Well, thanks for he's having incredible. him. And thank you for what oh, you do God. and getting the word out and trying to reduce the stigma of 
suicide. Well, he and I were talking, and we both understand that I, I struggle with depression at times. No, and, we all do. And I know we what all that is, you know, that when you get, when I was a kid, I remember thinking that was yeah. an option, too. No, absolutely. And I'm so glad now that I'm this age that yeah. that wasn't an option for me. Like, True. I thought about it. True. You know? No, so. absolutely. Well, thanks, man. Hey, you bet. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Oh, thanks you're welcome, man. Thank, Thank you for having us. Of course. This. This is of awesome. course. I'm so excited yeah. about it. All right. All right. Thanks, thanks buddy. Okay. You bet. Wow, Gosh, that's pretty dang fine, huh? Tear in my eye. <laughs> I don't know what it is about you, Rick. I get on your show and you make me cry. <laughs> it's because this is valuable stuff. Yeah. And and because we have people like Katie that, that sponsor me, and then we can do this. We come and we all sit together. It's not like we just come up. We we think about these things and go, Katie, here's a here's a topic I think we should tackle. And it's a way of staying involved in the community because right. Katie's a realtor right. and she has a whole team of people and they sell real estate, but really she's more a member of this community. And that's the, uh, that's yeah. the important part. I live, breathe, work. I mean, I raise my family here. And you're from here. Yeah. Born She's a raised. local girl. Yeah. So, okay, I, I'm, I, I, I'm kind of excited because I want to talk about it. Okay, this is an important topic, but I want to cut just for a second. Oh. Because you're doing something new that I think my wife, I told Kathy yes. the other night, yes. you will never believe what Katie's doing with clients. And she said, what? And I told her, she goes, how can she do that? I said, because she's got this huge team of people. So tell, I'm kind of tell people what you're doing. So I have a new thing with my business and it is, I'm going to guarantee to sell your home in 21 days or I'll work for free. So that means if you don't sell, your team doesn't sell it within 21 days. 29. 29. 29 That's days. what I thought. I'll and sell it for free. So that means yeah. the commission, there's no commission. There is no commission on my portion. On your portion. Yes. God. Yeah. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Do you, do you say that with trepidation? <laughs> no, because you're because why and why are you doing that? Well, I'm, I'm one. I'm confident in my marketing skills. I'm confident confident that we're going to price it right. That uh, that I'm a good realtor. I know what I'm doing. So. <laughs> So I can guarantee that. So I love that. So Katie Hallard, and all the information is on the top of this that so you can go and find that. So if you are selling or looking to buy a home, um, go to Katie or yes, her team yeah. because they. Um, I think that's pretty gutsy. She told us in this networking group that we're all in, and I, I had to pick my jaw up off the, off the table it going. Was that right? It was like, oh my I was God. like, we haven't talked about this, and that's scary. But that's really, a, that, that shows you putting your money where your mouth is. Like, yeah, and I, and I still have my seller, seller program, and this is also for the buyers too. It's where they get a home warranty. Uh, so if you're selling, you get to use the home warranty during the sale and it passes on to the buyer. If you're a buyer, you get the home warranty with the purchase. And then you get four hours of either handyman, yard work, or house cleaning. Uh, you get your choice between those three, depending on the property. Every, every property is different, so okay. it depends on what it needs. Thanks, Katie. Thank you, Rick. So you have fun today walking. I'm going to go yeah. get my T-shirt. I'm going to find that Carson guy one more time if I can. He's got all his friends around here. He Did you see where he went? And he has my iPad. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm sure he's here. With oh, there's people, no, there's, there's Dad. Dad's got. On black. <sighs> Too late. So hello. Hi. What How do you, are you doing? no? Come here. Don't <laughs> no, don't no, go no, away. No, 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 come here. Your kids run. Hi. So what are you? So what no. are you? So what are you doing here? What is We're this? Walking. For, do you know Carson? We are walking with the Churchill team. We're who? The Churchill team. Oh yeah 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 Carson's team. So why does that? Why do you bring your kids out here for something like that? Community service and awareness. Important topic. Yeah. Really important. Yeah. You don't want to introduce yourself, do you? No, I'm good. Thank she's, you. She's you gonna have hide. Fun. Okay. You see you later. Fun. See you later. <laughs> so I, I see. No, you're fine. Where I got this guy a camera. So who are you? Um, I'm David Manstrom. I'm Will Manstrom's brother. You're kidding. No. Are you okay talking to me? Yeah, I'm good, yeah. I did not know that when I grabbed you. I just saw you talking to Carson and I had no idea. Yeah. So you're fine? Yes, I am fine. Okay, so your brother t t took his life when? Um, on Valentine's Day of 17th. So 2017 on Valentine's Day. So what was, what did that do to you? Um, I mean like he was really close to me, so. I guess like when he took his life, he kind of took mine too in a way. So it's, I'm glad that I'm here, but it's still pretty emotional for me. Yeah. Yeah. Because you kind of has you got to ask yourself, you know, what what are the, what are the questions you ask yourself when that happens? Just like why he would do like why he committed suicide or like how I could have helped him. Just those thoughts are always just like in your head when this kind of thing happens. So this is pretty important. Yep. And can you believe, my man, all these people out here for your brother and uh, because of all that? I mean, that's pretty damn cool, huh? Yeah, it is really cool. Does that kind of touch you? Yeah. 
There's a lot of people here. Some people I don't even know, but there's a lot of people here to support us and Christine Tofty just helping us through this, and it means a lot. So well, thank you. I, I, I'm I, I, I'm I'm kind of flabbergasted because I really honestly did not know that's who you were right. when I got you. But I saw you talking to him, yeah. and I thought, okay, he's got to be a friend of his. He's got to be involved. Yeah, in this. I've known him since I was like a little kid. So, yeah. So can you believe Carson can put something like this together? It's crazy. I never like when I first yes. heard this, I was like, well, that's really cool. But I didn't think it was gonna be this big. And just seeing like somebody that you know like do something like this, it really means a lot. Because him and my brother were really close friends. So. I appreciate him and I'm grateful for him that he's doing something like this. So what would you say to your brother today? Just that there's a lot of people here just to like support us and like that I love him and my family loves him and we all miss him a lot. Yeah. So you can go out and fight this thing with people. It kind of shows you the importance of community, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. There's a lot of people here to help us out on this journey, so yeah. Hey, thanks, man, for talking to me. Thank you. I really appreciate. Yeah, Thank you. I appreciate you doing that. Thank you. That was a that was kind of a shocker. <laughs> okay, guys. So anyway, the opening ceremonies start at. That was crazy. Um, I had no idea that his brother was Will. I did not know. Um, it's just how life works sometimes. Um, so again, I'm going to show you the crowd here. Uh, everything starts around 11 o'clock. A lot of people here to walk. So uh, we want to thank Katie Hallert and the Stellar Home Team for sponsoring today's show. Um, Carson for all that he did. And of course the organizers of, the, of this event that have made such a great impact on our community. So um, I'm going to show you one last shot of everybody here. And then um, share this on your page because you never know if there's somebody out there who's considering this kind of thing as an option and that we want to show them that it's not and that they can see all these people here who are willing to support them. Okay, so have a good Sunday. Have a great weekend. I will see you tomorrow with more shows, but it's not important at this point. All right, let me show you what's going on here.